Morning everyone. Um, I hope you're having a beautiful Sunday. Um, very good morning to you. Um, so I wanted to share with you a little bit about the writing that I'm doing at the moment um, to inspire um, a lot of you out there who are creative writers or who are just interested in exploring the topic I am writing about. Primarily my writing is focused on being in this hyphen in between of British Asian and my writing focuses on the dynamic of holding cultural values within our South Asian communities and um, our British environment and how that influences our values as South Asians, how we interact with our peers, how we interact at work, how we interact with our family, how we develop family, how our generations have changed since the 60s when we migrated into this country and how we there should be a sense of appreciation for change and that we're not just held back as being primarily Asian and um, I speak about topics of for example forced marriage um, domestic violence and how things like honor-based violence um, is very predominant today in um, South Asian communities and how you know the Brit British judicial system um, helps in um, identifying the gaps that we need to identify within our communities to protect and um, you know ex manage this hyphen of being Asian and being British and what's acceptable and what's not acceptable within our communities so yeah so I've decided to make a blog um, to talk about um, this being stuck in the hyphen in between um, you know you might find yourself living in a very Asian environment but you're going to school and you've got social media and you've got friends who are like talking about topics that maybe your parents don't talk about and you're very much in a flux of what is my identity as a British Asian so I wanted to share with you um, a book I was reading um, again this morning um, and it's called Anita and Me by Mira Sayal. Um, a lot of you know her from um, Goodness Gracious Me and her very auspicious awards as a British Asian representative of um, women and comedy and um, essentially the book talks about a character called Anita and she lives in a very predominantly Asian environment let's say like Leicester or Bradford very Asian environment and in this book she growing up realizes that she has a, a double face of what she does in front of her family she has certain acceptable ways of mannerisms in her family environment and secondly how she acts around her best mate and how she acts around you know British people in her community and how she enjoys that and how she feels frustrated that she cannot express that within her family environment because of stringent cultural perceptions that women can't do certain things and girls are seen as being raised a certain way um, to not go down the path of being too liberal. It's a really good book, I would recommend it to all of you. Um, you can get it for like a penny on Amazon, it's, it's really cheap, it's, it's really good. I actually bought a second hand copy, so this is why this tag is there. But um, yeah, so it was a really good book. So I will keep you updated on my writing and exploring this hyphen in between. And if any of you guys have um, any comments or suggestions or any areas of exploration of topics you want to talk about, about being in this hyphen of being British Asian, um, feel free to comment or um, suggest. And um, yeah, always, always, always happy to hear um, the opinions of you guys. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy watching these vlogs and um, exploring this hyphen that we live in and uh, yeah so have an awesome Sunday and uh, speak to you soon bye